Good morning, everyone. My name is Amaya, if you don't know who I am. Today is very exciting. I'm in New York right now. I've been waiting for today because we plan to go to the biggest barns in New York. I kid you not, this barns is three stories long. I mean, long. The barns is three stories tall and it's so beautiful and I'm so excited. I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm gonna pick out a few books and then when I buy the books, I'm going to write like where I got it from, like in New York at the biggest barns or whatever, which I think is gonna be so cool. So I'm very, very excited. I don't know if you can tell. I cannot stop smiling right now. So we're about to head out now. We're gonna go get breakfast and coffee and I'm gonna take you guys with me and then we'll make our way to barns. So I hope you're as excited as I am because this is, this is big. All right, I will see you guys in a minute. My hair is all over the place. Also, we're still healing from the faint, so that's still there. All right, let's go. Be prepared, because I'm probably gonna change my hair like five times today. I'm very indecisive. I, guys, I'm here. I just want to say this is a big moment, guys. Oh. Making our way downtown, walking fast. Let me stop. Got a video? Are you taking it? Or you're not taking it? You're a liar. No.
love books. The last couple of clips you saw of me in New York at that Barnes was a little over a week ago. Actually, wait. Yeah, it was a week ago. After that, I was really busy. I went to Georgia for Passion 2023. You don't know what Passion is? It's a Christian conference. If you want to learn more about God or you're a Christian, I would highly recommend going. For the age bracket of 18 to 25, I'm just telling you this because I truly enjoyed my time there and I brought my cousin with me. We had literally the best time. It was so amazing, so powerful, so beautiful. I loved it. But while I was there, I wasn't going to edit or anything. I wanted to focus in on on what I was there for, which was for God. Now I'm back from Georgia and I'm editing this video and it's gonna go up a little bit late this week, but it's fine because it is going up. So I never got to show you the books that I got from the Barnes. I showed them briefly in the video, but I didn't show you the actual book or the author or anything like that. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Before I do that, guys, I have such exciting news. My friend Ricky, she came out with her own book. She's a literal author. I think it's one of the coolest things ever. The book she wrote is Behind the Green Apron. We're gonna read the back together because I haven't even read the back yet. I do know what it's about. The book is on Amazon. I'm gonna link it down below. It'll be very easy for you to get to it if you wanna buy it. I'm genuinely so excited to read this book because the green apron signals to Starbucks. I'm gonna read the back with you right now though so you can kind of get a glimpse into what it is and see if you wanna read it. <clears throat> okay. Read how monsters were created from one simple question. What can we get started for you? Who doesn't enjoy a nice tasty beverage from their favorite coffee shop? Many people come to Starbucks to enjoy said tasty beverage many times over. I know I do. It is happily prepared for them or at least hopefully so, but what happens when things don't go according to plan? What happens when products run dry? When drink customizations get out of control? This book is a collection of experiences of what it's like working for a coffee empire and some ridiculous customers and their orders that will make you raise your eyebrows. Shocking? Yes. Surprising? No. For the average price of a latte, you can see what it's like behind the green apron. So get your coffee and let's do this. That was a good one. She said for the average price of a latte, you can see what it's like behind the green apron. But yeah, now let's get into what I got from Barnes in New York. Four stories. I thought it was three and then I got there and they said four and I was like, that was that was my exact reaction, by the way. I did get three books. Um, two of them are by Lynn Parker. One of them is by Renee Carlino. And you probably know which one this is because it's literally been everywhere. It's before we were strangers. What I do know is that this is a college romance. This is a second chance romance. It's about two people who had a great connection when they were younger and then they rekindle when they're older. I'm excited to read this book. I haven't read Second Chance Romance in a minute so I'm already like dying to read it. I'm gonna write how I got it from the Barnes in New York and I'm also gonna write it on the other two books because I kind of want to do that every time I get a book in like another state or let's say out of the country. I want to remember that so I'm gonna write it inside of my books because I think that's just so cool. The second one was Better Than the Movies by Lynn Parker. I got this book because of Haley Pham. She loved it and I trust her judgment. I don't know if it's enemies or friends to lovers. Oh, so this is like reading a romantic comedy. That's all I'll say. That's all I really know. I'm so excited to see what I think about this book, but yeah. And then the last book that I got was 50% off, but also I've seen this everywhere, so I wanted to get it anyway. <laughs> Not just because it was 50% off, although that's probably one of the biggest reasons. It's The Do-Over by Lynn Parker. I've seen this book everywhere. This is also a book that takes place on Valentine's Day and February is coming up. So I was like, this is perfect. This one, I know more about this one. It is about a girl who relives Valentine's Day over and over again and her boyfriend had cheated on her. She has to relive that moment. I guess it's to figure out how her Valentine's Day is supposed to end. I don't really know, but I know that that's like the premise. I'm very excited to read it. It's so cute and it was hardcover too, 50% off hardcover. So I talked about these four books. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, watching me fangirl in Barnes for <laughs> quite some time. I thank you all for being here. You guys are amazing. I really want you to know how much I appreciate you. So that is it for the video. My next video might come out a little closer to this one just because I waited so long to post this video. I will see you guys very, very soon. I hope you have an amazing morning, evening, day, night, wherever you are. And yeah, that's all. Bye.